Magandang araw! Maray na ramrag! Salamat pagi or should I say, good morning to all of you. I am Chester Elaine Bermal Sampai, a third year Bachelor of Early Childhood Education student from University of St. Anthony, Irrigas City, Philippines. But this time, you can call me Teacher Chess. And before I begin with my story, allow me to ask you a question first. Are you all familiar with the story of the creation of our world? Or how the stars, the sun, and the moon are created? I have a story, what would it be? What would it be? What would it be? I have a story, what would it be? So watch and listen and learn with me. And now, let me tell you a story on how our world is created according to my origin. And it is entitled, The Pickle Origin Myth. Thousands and thousands of years ago, there was a time when the space occupied by the universe was vacant. The only visible are the water and the sky above it. The kingdom of the sky was under the rule of the great god Langit, while the water was under the sovereignty of the god to begun. Langit had a daughter called Dagat, the sea, who became the wife of Paros, the wind, who was the son of the begun. Four children were born to Dagat and Paros. Three of them were called Daga, Aldaw, and Bulan, and the only girl is called Bitoon. Daga, a strong man, possessed a body of rock. Aldaw, a jolly fellow, had a body of gold. Bulan, a copper man made, was a weakling, while the beautiful Bitoon was made of pure silver. After the death of their father Paros, the Aga, being the eldest son, succeeded in control of the winds. Soon after, Daga, the mother, died, and she left their children under the care of their grandparents, Langit, and to begin. After assuming to the control of the winds, the Ga became arrogant and ambitious. He desired to gain more power, so he induced his younger brothers to attack the kingdom of Langit. Bulan and Aldao, the two of you, I want you to join me to conquer the kingdom of Langit. The Ga said, Sorry, but we're not going to follow you. Langit is our grandfather. He would get mad if he knew about your plan. Aldao said, No, I want to rule everything. Whether you like it or not, you will follow what I said. The two couldn't do anything and were constrained to join him in his plot. Preparations were made and when everything was ready, they began to attack the gates of the sky. Failing to open the gates, the Ga let loose a strong winds and destroyed the gate. With that, brothers succeeded in gaining the entrance. But they were met by the furious god Langit who set out three bolts of lightning after them. So Daga, Bulan, and Aldao were struck by the lightning. The copper body of Bulan melted into a ball and became the moon. And so also was the golden body of Aldao that transformed into the sun. The gas body fell into the water and became what is now the land on the earth. On the other hand, Gitoon discovered the absence of her brothers. Where are my brothers? It's been days since they left. I'm so worried about them. I need to find them. So she went out to look for them. But upon meeting the enraged god Langit, Gitoon was also struck by another bolt of lightning which broke her body into many, many pieces and scattered into the sky and became what is now the stars. Then Langit descended from the sky and called to begun. To begun! How dare you to help our grandchildren to attack my kingdom? He accused to begun. But to begun defended himself. What? I don't have any idea about what you are saying. I was asleep far down into the sea. 
to be gone succeeded in pacifying langit and the two regretted and wept over the loss of their grandchildren. Since they could not revive them, they gave each body a light. Then to be gone planted a seed which grew into a bamboo tree. From one of its branches came a man and a woman who became the first parents of the human race. Three children were born to them. One called Maisog which invented a fish trap. One day, he caught such a very big and christique looking whale that he thought it was a god. So he ordered his people to worship it. The people gathered around and began to pray. But sooner they had begun, the god from the sky appeared and commanded Maisog to throw the whale to the water. You should worship no one but the gods, he said. But Maisog was not afraid and defied the gods. Langit, the king of the sky, struck Maisog with lightning then he scattered the people over the earth as a punishment. In this way, the earth came into being. So that's it! That's the story of how our world is created. Amazing, right? By the punishment given by Langit because of the stubbornness and selfishness of the God in Maisog, our world is created. Well, this can serve as a moral lesson to all of us, right? To honor and respect not just our parents but also our grandparents for us not to experience what happened to Naga, Aldaw, Bulan, Bitoon, and Maisog. There you have it! Thank you so much for listening and I hope that you learned something from me. Again, this is Teacher Chess, Living with a Code. Creation is a canvas which God has painted His character. Goodbye and hanggang sa muli!